All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today I am your end times reporter. The headline reads Sweden declares sex as a sport and will host competition. I personally cannot imagine starting this video with a more demoralizing headline. Guys, needless to say, this video will not be for children. We will read out this whole article and in the end, I will give you my summary. With no further ado, let's have a look. Sweden declares sex as sport to host competition. Sweden has officially declared sex as a sport and is also set to host its first ever sex competition. The participants will engage in sex sessions, which can go up to six hours daily. A panel of judges will decide the winners of the sex competition, while the audience will also influence the final decisions. Tagged European Sex Championship, the competition will start this week, June 8th, and run through a period of six weeks with participants engaging in sexual activities from 45 minutes to one hour daily, depending upon the duration of their matches. Aside influencing the decision, the audience will also notice several aspects of the sexual activity. The final decision of the winners will be arrived at after considering the factors like the chemistry between the couple, knowledge about sex, as well as endurance level. On Vanguard.com, we find even more disturbing details about this. The report disclosed that the competition has three levels, and in order to advance to the next level, the contestant must obtain a certain minimum number of points at each one. The sex contenders have the opportunity to earn between 5 and 10 points in each discipline, which are decided by a mix of public votes and panel of 5 judges. According to the report, the audience will watch the sex competitions and will take note of various features of the sexual activity. The couple's chemistry, their understanding of sex, their level of endurance and other vital sexual features will be considered when deciding who emerges a winner. The head of the Swedish Federation of Sex, Dragan Breitsch, said he hoped that one day sex would be regarded as a sport globally. He underlined the value of education and the possibility that engaging in sexual activity can improve one's physical and mental health. Like any sport, getting the results you want in sex requires training, he stated. As a result, competition will inevitably start to develop in this area as well. He emphasizes the unique aspect of the sport where the object is to make the opponent extremely happy. He added the ability of the competitor to satisfy their partner determines their success in this game, in contrast to traditional sports where losing frequently leads to disappointment. Boo hoo. All right, and this was the article. I am yet again confirmed in my stance that the West will fall. It is inevitable at this point. It is just a question of time. The West has fallen so far into degeneration that it will destroy itself from the inside out. Worth mentioning, of course, is here the ending of the article where they emphasize yet again how bad other sports are because you have losers. Oh, it is so evil that somebody has to win and somebody has to lose. But in our sex competition, everybody wins. Actually, we're trying to please the partner. And because it feels good, therefore it must be right. This is nihilism. This is hedonism. This is liberalism. Don't you understand that this society simply follows its desires. Nothing more, nothing less. Their standard of morality, their standard of goodness is whatever feels good. This is why neutrality, LGBT, etc., etc., is promoted in the West, because for them, apparently, it feels good. And out of this degradation, you have a further down spiraling. And like this, new ideologies pop up all over the place, such as veganism. Just rewind it back. Veganism stems from human rights. Human rights have been established by the West. Yet again, the premise is not God here. It is simply that you shouldn't harm other people, and therefore it is correct. Human rights, however, led to animal rights. Rights. Animal rights led to veganism. Veganism in the minds of the vegan is correct because you're not hurting anybody. And if you're hurting anybody, an animal is suffering, 
that equals evil, that equals bad. Never mind, of course, that there is no right and wrong in the worldview of a vegan. There is no God, there is no evil, there is no devil, there is no moral objective baseline for anything. However, we're still going to say that this is evil because it feels bad. And therefore, because everything that feels bad equals evil in their worldview, that means, of course, that everything that feels good is automatically good, is automatically right. And therefore, sex feels good. Sure, we will all agree. Hence, let's make a sport out of it. Let's have sex in public. Let's have as much sex as possible. Let's have unmarital sex. You have a whole society that is so demoralized, that has absolutely no self-respect, no value for their bodies whatsoever. They truly believe that they will accomplish anything of value by simply enjoying pleasures, by eating junk food, by drinking alcohol, by having promiscuous sex over and over and over again. In their 30s, they wake up and they are depressed. Now they're on antidepressants. Now they run to the psychologist and they simply cannot figure out what the root cause is. The root cause here is, of course, that we're living in a godless society. I want to end this video with a beautiful hadith of the Prophet Wasallam. There are two types of people who will enter the hell fire whom I have not as yet seen. People having whips similar to ox tails with which they will beat people. And secondly, women who will be dressed yet appear to be naked. They will seduce men and be inclined towards them. So in this hadith, Prophet Muhammad speaks about the future because he clearly says that he hasn't seen them yet. He's speaking about women that are wearing clothes, but at the same time they are naked. It doesn't take a genius for this. Just look around and you will see those women everywhere, especially in the gyms nowadays with those leggings. So this is, of course, a clear sign of the end times. However, this hadith here cements it. Abdullah ibn Ahmad reported, the messenger of Allah, peace and blessings be upon him, said, the hour will not be established until people mate with each other in the road as if they were donkeys. I said, will it really happen? The prophet said, yes, it will truly happen. And now it truly happened. People will have sex in public being judged by other bystanders. When I grew up, there were already certain dating shows, but nevertheless, they were somewhat innocent. Of course, it's haram, but nevertheless, it was about people getting to know each other. They were talking to each other. They were going on dates, but there were no kisses or anything of the likes. However, fast forward 20 years later, you have so-called dating shows such as Adam and Eve, where people meet on a lonely island completely naked. It. And all of this yet again was not enough. It was not enough that we have dating shows where people meet each other naked. No, of course not. Progress in this society means we're gonna further progress. No matter if we're further progressing into hell. Hey, we're gonna go one step further, one step further. First, we're gonna wear short pants. Then we're gonna wear short dresses, short skirts. Then we're gonna wear hot pants. In the end, we're gonna be naked. But this is not enough. Now we have to have sex and we have to treat it as a sport. We can't see it anymore as an intimate bond between man and woman, between husband and wife. No, of course not. It is just a sport. Don't you see? It feels nice. Let's go for it. Let's set a new record. This is the filth that we see coming from the West and the only stronghold is Islam. All right, that's it for today's video. If you liked it leave it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed already guys please do so and if you want to support this channel via patreon all the links are in the description box below thank you so much for your ongoing support guys and as always may god bless you all much love and peace